And walk back, folks. Welcome back. Back into this vast octagonal chamber. Mostly empty. The walls are carved and painted to resemble sprawling graveyard half sunken into a swampy morass. And all the graves in the mural are open and empty. You see carved images of shrieking ghosts that parade upward and into the hungry pupil of a malevolent eye at the apex of this room, 30 feet above. There is a circle 15 foot diameter. It's a platform that sits in the middle of the room. You have just slain several of these flicker wisps that look like uh, little s curls of hair interwoven with light. And several of these crawling little hands. It was definitely a and hairy situation that turned into a big old furball. It did, yeah. Some of you took uh, some heavy, heavy wounds to that fight. But here you are, um, tending to those wounds. Bastion uh, pokes his head in after the, the room quiets down for a moment. Just looks at everyone injured, bloody, all these uh, clumps of dirty hair and severed hands laying around. And I just, is it safe to come in yet? On that note, Cetrazan jokingly take one of the hands off the ground that was like right in front of her that he may not have seen, and like just throw it at him and be like, yep. Ah, they're still alive! <laughs> it might be a bit early to tell if it's safe in here. It slaps the ground as it falls. <laughs> You just hear such a giggling from beside the doorway. Oh, that's big Is that big arm still floating up there? More time. I asked, is that big orb still floating up there? It is. Looking just as malevolent as it ever has. Did we want to take a few minutes to... Allow me to look over some of the wounds that Fernia has. I guess the alternative is some of us bleeding out. I imagine that would be a wise decision, yes. Okay. Uh, so... Though, if I may be so kind as to suggest, perhaps not in the same room as the giant magical malevolent orb. But, but the orb is so pretty, and I can throw more hands at people. <laughs> Everyone who speaks, the eye seems to point directly at them. Oh, that's unnerving. Tetra smiles and waves at it like, hi! <laughs> Bastion is going to forego any investigations until the party is uh, <laughs> feeling a little better. <laughs> Okay, so Stom will just throw these out first because these will regenerate back after 10 minutes. So we'll just start with Fernia. Nine um, for Fernia. Who um, are we missing? 16 for Rusty. Okay. And then this next one's for Cetra, 10 to Cetra. And then this next one's just myself. And then I'll treat wounds on Fernia. Well, hold on. I don't know that you need to. Because I can always cast my own healing for her. Oh, well. Up to you, but it's 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 free. It doesn't cost any resources for me to do this, really. I mean, this is my focus point, so I can get it back in the same time that we're waiting here anyway. Hey, Mike. Yes. I think the lighting is off on my character because I am in this room basically in the dark when I should have light around me. Alright, I'll just do Rusty then. Let's see. Do you have a light source? 17 to Rusty. Uh, thought I had vision. 
So that you, if you drag that spell effect light to your character, that should fix it for you. I was saying, do you have uh -huh. light now? Okay. Because mm. yes. I had, I was in here with my light as well. Because normally I'm the one with the light. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That sounds like so confused as a call. All right, we should be good to go. At least I am. Coming back into this hallway, you see that again. These walls shimmer and ripple with faint, with faint whorls of pale blue energy. Very, uh, recognizable pale blue energy. The same type, exactly, that shone brightly from the top of the gauntlet, uh, oh, so many weeks ago. And it created that, uh, batch of zombies, skeletons, and then eventually that uh, terrible creature. Is it Galathrax? Possibly. Yeah, this is some source for that energy, or perhaps a triggering mechanism. It also could be something just powered by the same energies. Yes, I was afraid that might, uh, might also be a possibility. We're hoping it's not, though, because those have a tendency to blow up in our faces. Uh, so Sebastian is basically uh, aiming his arcane focuses at this thing, staring back at it intensely, trying to figure out what do you do. All right, as soon as you do walk in there, you get a terrible sense of despair um, and hopelessness. And you are... I am a feared, I believe. To... Yes, you are feared. Frightened one. Um, How is the eye tracking people again? That was what? How is the uh, the floating eye thingy tracking people again when it's well, looking at us? It, it looks like a big eye, so it's a big orb, but then it has like a darkness inside of it and a small glowing blue pale pupil, and that circle with the pupil in it seems to be moving very quickly darting back and forth to each of you. Um, despite being afraid of this thing, am I able to glean any information from it? Uh, you can give me a... Religion check. Okay, you are not able to glean anything helpful. You're kind of transfixed at the pupil and you lose your train of thought. I'll do this. I guess Dom can take a look at it. I just don't want to walk in the room. <laughs> okay. I'll just look at it from over here. Yeah, with the cultism, I... you're not you're not getting anything. This has to be a religion. Oh, religion. Mm. Can I take a glare? Yeah, absolutely. 25 is kind of tough to hit. But... While that's going on, Rusty would like to search the room to see if there's any hidden things or anything like that. Okay.
Yeah, other than the, uh, you know, giant platform and floating eye and all the dead bodies, does anything else in the room stick out? Door to the west. Well, there's, there's a, um, yeah, there's a door to the west and there's also a hallway to the south. I can't quite uh, see what's down there, but there seems to be some kind of light source to be seen. Uh, if you look downward, that hallway, it looks like the ceiling rises to about 25 feet. A great corridor. Looks like there's um, sarcophagi that are lining the walls of this hallway down here. Oh, that's always fun. I'm going to be that really terrible player, Mike. Um... I kind of zoned out, got distracted with the religion checks on the eye. Was anything revealed? Uh, with the eye, Vita, you, um, Vita is able to determine that the eye is essentially a shrine dedicated to Nimbaloth the outer god of despair, ghosts, and swamps. Uh, you know that her shrines are often empty of additional furnishings, uh, statues or benches symbolizing the emptiness of death itself. Uh, basically, worshippers typically kneel or prostrate themselves on the floor, while priests lead uh, sermons and sacrifices at the altar. Uh, the altar before you uh, before this eye, uh, someone sacrificed their hands, those four hands that you had just fought. Oh, if those were the forehands, God forbid if they sacrificed their backhands. <laughs> that gives Sebastian a hero point, because I do love me a good pun. Alright, where will you go from here? Am I able to recall knowledge on that? Does the eye pose any threat? You can give me a arcana check or an occultism. You know that this is building up and at the beginning of each day more of these flicker wisps will slither out from the indentations in the altar side. Ooh, XP farm. Yes. <laughs> oh, well clearly we need to destroy the altar. Sorry, not the morning. Uh, each day at dusk. Uh, you see a space for four items at the stone altar. In these corners? Yeah. Is there any kind of, uh, I don't know, dust trail or in, in a nation or any kind of telling of what might go on these altars? 
Yeah, it looks like some sort of um, like an icon of some sort, like uh, something that has like whatever you put in there. There's an embedding of the uh, like a tracing of whatever you're going to be placing in it, so it would fit perfectly like a key. Almost as if it was kind of like a mold piece. Right. And there are four One different more. molds. One more question. Given what I was told a moment ago with the uh, eyeball, am I under the suspicion that it is going to resurrect everything here? It's probably not going to resurrect it. It probably will just create new ones. Okay. Has anything we picked up to this point seemed to look like a possible key for one of these altars? Not yet. It seems that the search must continue if we can't mechanically destroy this thing here now. I don't have a particularly large hammer, for example. It's an eye. We might be able to blind it. Hmm. Have, we considered, the altar. have we considered draping a cloth over it? How high is it in the air? 30 feet. I, Russ just points to Stom. Mm. Height is nothing with his stones. Are we trying to <clears throat> destroy it? What if we light a fire under it? And let the smoke under it just blind it? Uh, how would you sustain the fire? What fuel would you use? Well, we got a lot of hands. Oh, that might suffice for a few minutes, perhaps, but... I, I, actually, this might be magic of nature. Blinding it might not help. Uh, so, just to clarify, there's an altar at ground level and a floating eye above it, right? That's right. Okay. Does the altar look like something that can be physically destroyed. No. Didn't think so. That would be too easy. <laughs> Does the eye? I don't uh, say. Not really. You can it, throw something at it and see what happens, but... Yeah, I'm a pass. Uh, I must admit to a sudden uh, reluctance. Cetera. Do you think yeah. you can hit the eye with a hand? Oh, you this mean throw door. Does anything stick out about the door to the west? And give me a perception check, if you like. As the feared sorcerer moves to the outer walls, afraid to fuck with this <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, was there anything from my uh, perception check for checking the walls earlier? Uh, the walls seem intact. They look like they uh, pretty pretty bare except for the the murals doesn't seem like there's any hidden doors or anything like that if that's what you're looking for okay. what, what there's the a keyhole uh, there is, there's no uh, keyhole for the door it just looks like it opens up uh, as far as what's on the chamber um, it's the, the walls are carved and painted to resemble a sprawling graveyard half sunken into a swampy morass. Yet all the graves in the mural are open and empty. Carved images of shrieking ghosts parade upward into the hungry pupil of a malevolent eye at the apex of the room, 30 feet above. Can Setra actually use her hair to try to touch the eyeball with it? Sure. Do you have a uh, 30 foot... Uh, reach. Uh, 
Uh, it doesn't say any particular range. So yeah, I'm mad. Uh, you want to post the thing for it? Well, it's the living hair. Living hair but is I'm a 30-foot 30, 30 to... physical attack. Unarmed attack. It's either 15 or 30. Doesn't sound either. I hold on. Uh, that circle that's around the eye wasn't that a uh, raised platform? There is a raised platform. It's only three feet tall, directly underneath of the eye. Okay, I guess Sutra could use that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A circular 15 foot diameter platform. Okay, well, it's 15 feet diameter. Yeah. But the uh, the altar made of stone slab uh, only goes up three feet. But uh, if you're trying to use your whipping hair attack thingy, just trigger the attack. It'll tell us what its ranges are in the description. not telling me in the description. Are you able to just post living hair? Mm, no. Yeah, so it does say it's a actually. melee attack, and that typically means melee meaning adjacent to you. It would have a range if it had reach or something. Yeah, I assume it's the witch uh, feet. It doesn't have any reach on it. Not uh, naturally, anyway. So your hair whips out, but it just goes up to about five feet, and uh, it's not long enough. Rapunzel, sorry. Can I just uh, use the hair to like throw them in? I was going to say, it sounds like we're going to need uh, to get you some extensions. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them. <laughs> well, either way, she's going to just try to throw the hand up at it. Okay. Yeah, the hand flies up there, smacks the eye. Uh, then it falls back down. It looks at you. She'll say, you're supposed to give me a high five back. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally thinking of like a puppy now. If I place this hand on the doorknob and start to turn it, do I feel any resistance? Um, uh, nope. No, it, uh, it will start to open. I'm gonna unlatch it and, uh, not open it, but just pull it back enough that it can be yanked open. Okay. Um, open. I'm gonna lean back. And start waving to Cetra and Stom. Meanwhile, I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in my bag and grab my rope. I'm gonna tie it out around the doorknob. Does this door open inward or outward? Uh, it opens outward. I don't think I have a way to ignore this frightened. Be brave. Don't look at the eye. Yeah, what if, what if you close your eyes? Just make your will, just make your will safe. You, you well, actively create don't, a safe. Don't think about it. I don't know if we want the kineticist to be blind. <laughs> blind? That was just feared. No, they said to close my eyes. Oh, that's fine. I don't think we want me slinging my shots around without being able to see. Okay, so what what Setra can do is, if you do close your eyes, she will guide you. How about that? Yeah, can I ask a random question out of character? I'm not sure the mechanics of this. Sure. But if I were to cast blindness on Stom, he wouldn't know where the enemy is that he's afraid of. So 
he could technically run erratic in any direction. Good if he wanted to run in any direction, but he could just be just as well by closing his eyes. I uh, just, yeah, random, curious. Uh, I'm going to kick this door open and leave the rope loose, but step uh, five feet to the corner here okay. beside Rusty and Sebastian. Door kicks open, uh, allowing you to view a small hallway that leads to yet another door to the west. All right, Storm will take a good look around. I'm going to retrieve my rope. How far away do we have to be from this thing for the Frighten to drop off? Probably just outside the room. Find out what's on the other side to the west and close this door behind us once we're through. Quiet behind this door. Uh, This door is not trapped and it is unlocked. Alright, Storm will... Have Sebastian, a, right, do you have a guidance counter? And open it up. Sorry, what was that? that was some, uh, let's get out of here first. Okay, well, opening the door, you see a... Uh, what looks to be a humanoid woman uh, in a various amount of chains. She looks over at you, Stom, as you uh, open the door. And she says, "Uh, I invite you to leave now. Um, Stom is just going to give a quick recall knowledge on this. Being mostly worried about the chains and what the possible implications of that can mean. Okay. Well, this looks like a... uh, Let me... As you look at the room, you see that there are three five-foot square iron cages, the bars lined with spikes on the inside that hangs from chains in the middle of the room. There's blood-crusted manacles that dangle from chains on the west wall, a stout wooden table with more manacles anchored to it, stands in the southwest corner and on it sits a whip made of blood red leather with a silver handle this is an obvious torture chamber you see that the north cage has some silver lined runes carved into its exterior and about it that uh, you can immediately see just from your initial Does the blue woman appear to be uh, armed? Uh, she is not armed right now. She has two of them. Well, Are, are we just ignoring the, the thighs and calves that's in that art? <laughs> because I would not want to be a watermelon around that. <laughs> no, that would I would. <laughs> Oh, is that, is that a Reynolds special? I don't need to do <laughs> that one. Some will just slowly close the door. <laughs> we're basically trying to pull another one of those things with the uh, that devil, where we're just like, uh, yeah, here we had to jail anyone he saw, and then I just closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's our plan? Um. Hello there. Are you saying it through the door? While the door is closed? Oh, I didn't I... open the door. Um, yeah, the door's, door's closed again. Sorry, I'm like super distracted tonight, guys. I've got, my okay. phone's kind of blown up. Yeah, yeah, Stom just closed the door and he's just asking what you guys would like to do. Oh, uh, if our experiences with the denizens of this uh, tower have been on any to go by despite their tendencies they can 
tenderly be reasoned with. If nothing else, even if we end up battling them, we can find out a thing or two. Find it's out a new who creature. they are and why they're here. Did the person seem to notice you were there? Yes. Well, um, but uh, if we want to go the diplomacy route, uh, it'd be probably be uh, it would probably be best if uh, one of you did that. Look, the room is suspect, but she might know what this eye is. Uh, to be fair, so was the undead ghoulish uh, scrivener who'd like to draw on human skin. Yeah, my entire life seems suspect. <laughs> this party seems suspect, let's be real. All right, all right, let's, uh, let's go talk to the girl. Talk to the girl. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me, Rusty. <laughs> Uh, as he's opening the door, can I cast guidance on Sebastian? Yes. Does the um, frightened wear off in this little hallway? Yes. After a round. Cool. All right. Uh, what we are going to do is real quick before he starts anything. If, if assuming I can, I can see the token partly, but assuming Rusty would actually be able to see, I would like to. Because it's just a mental thing. Nobody can tell anything. I'm marking her as target or as prey okay. <laughs> for combat in case that happens. She is marked. Okay. In your brain. Yep. In your eyes. It's like I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Continue, Sebastian. Okay. So, in an overabundance and caution, I think uh, no cause talking takes more minute. All right. No, we're good. We're fine. Uh, so Sebastian is going to knock on the door politely and uh, swing it open partially, just kind of like you might would if you're just like, oh, excuse me, sorry to bother you. Um, hello. Uh, sorry to disturb you, but I was hoping you might uh, have a word or two, uh, preferably before we try to flag each other to the bone. Uh, you see her give an exasperated sigh. And let's roll for initiative. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got my the, the, the attempt had to be made. I'm satisfied. It's, it's true. I I do not have any problems with that. I have a problem with try to initiative. And separate us <laughs> pop up in as soon as you pop that door. Ew. I'm not going with that. Okay. No. <laughs> eh, Sorry, Sebastian. Eh, it happens. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, Sebastian's instantly be fine. killed. I don't worst know about the rest of you. Worst case, don't forget a hero point can also be used to keep yourself from dying. So, we're okay. That's true. Okay, so Sebastian, as you poke your head in, and albeit like genuinely. Uh, trying to make some headway in diplomacy uh, you can tell that she's just probably been here for quite a long time and has no desire for interaction at all uh, she is going to give you a very mean look she's basically mean mugging you and this mean mugging will work a DC 21 will save. I mean, mugged. Yeah, cuz like mind control shit, probably. I'm gonna hear a point that. Hear a point? Alright. We're very generous to give him, so I'm gonna use him. Okay, yeah, that, that was definitely a good idea. Okay, um, let's see. There are various chains throughout this uh, this place, just hanging on the walls, um, attached to corners, and holding up these cages, um, and on her body as well. And suddenly, they all start moving, almost as if animated. 
that is when one flings out from the side over towards Sebastian. Oh, fucking Cenobites. Where's Pinhead? <laughs> no, we're, no, no, no. Pinhead's my husband. I'll go first. Seems like a very uncomfortable relationship, if you ask me. I don't know, he has such sights to show me. I can't deny him that. Alright. So, she has... That's a lot of damage. I have to ask, viewing this, does this change? You cut off right after the word change. Does this change? He, he died. Yeah, my bad. Does this chain attaching to Sebastian make running past him impossible? No. Now you can go through um, an ally's space even if they are uh, grabbed, which I believe Sebastian now is grabbed. Might even be restrained because 34, is that a crit success? That's almost guaranteed. Against my uh, athletics DC, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's twenty six. Twenty six is twenty six up and is a crit. Oh, uh, fort yeah. save. Uh, that's not much yeah. different. That's uh, eighteen. Twenty eight would be a crit. All right. So Sebastian is restrained. Um. And so that's the focus gaze was one. The chain attack was two. Yeah, word to the wise. If a creature is basically their whole life is dedicated to change, they're going to be good at grappling. Yeah. Yeah, she's got the grappling thing going on. God All damn right. Titans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, never, they're never easy. No, <laughs> Always something with them. Uh, well, fortunately, she rolled a one. You got lucky. Um, but Rusty... Yeah, you already got her uh, targeted. Okay. Mm um, is that cage, like, ground level, so it's kind of terrain, or is that high up? Uh, it is about ground level. They're five by five cages, but they're up uh, just a, a few feet. So would not be able to use you... it as a space, essentially. Right, yeah, and you can't okay. use the cage spaces. All right. Going to start by striding in. Um, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, we'll go there. Start uh, with that. One second. As you move past her, she gets a free attack because we have a tackle of opportunity with this lady. Enough run. Ooh, it's your lucky day. Alrighty, cool. All right, um, so I'm gonna move there, and that's in that for that time there. Uh, and then Fernia is going to. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, I'll move you back, Peter. One sec. Oh man, okay, because okay, you, you know you're possessed. It's fine. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> not yet. All right, I'm pretty sure Fernie can make this because she has 40 foot movement. So I believe. Uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's her free action, and then okay. Rusty is now going to. Um, Go for a twin takedown to start. Okay. 
Nice. That's doing something. Alright, uh, roll damage on the Flissa. Okay. Um. Still have many actions. Uh, second action, I will go for another strike with the Flissa. Nope. And then, third action, I am going to attempt to help Sebastian break free. I believe I can do an aid check to help him escape. Okay. Um... I'll just basically try to hit the chains and weaken them, basically. So I'll just go for an All attack. Right. Yeah, attack. Um, do you, don't you do that um, when you use your reaction? Like, when he tries, that's when you roll and you use your reaction when he tries to do that? Uh... The... Are you doing liberating command? No. no he just... there, there's a general thing think... that anyone can do called eight another. Yeah. Um, which actually reminds me that... Um, so I think I can do it kind of whenever. I mean, if we want to do it more towards his turn, we can. Um, but I think it's more just I'm spending one of my actions and my reaction to help him. Okay. Um, fine. That's fine. If it helps, Mike, the, the specified trigger is an ally is about to use an action that requires a skill check or attack roll, and that's really about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, even though I got an, a 14 there, technically, mm -hmm. I have um, this. Which was not included, I believe. No, it was not. So it should go okay. up to a 16, which would pass the DC 15. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, that'll be Plus one to your escape check. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> That's helpful. Hey, okay, is that it for Rusty? Uh, yep, that is it for Rusty. All right, so as Rusty ends his turn, um, both Fernia and Rusty can give us a DC 21 will save, please. All right. Nope. So this one is rough because this is frightened too. Oof. Is that for both of you guys? Nope. Fernie is the strongest world one we have here, apparently. I don't think she's failed a fail failed a will save yet. You had to say it. I said yet. But then you just cursed yourself. That's fine. Oh, by the way, um, Sebastian, you would have to roll that too since you ended your turn within 30 feet. Okay. What am I hitting? Will save? Will save, yeah. Wait. But why does Fernia have not frightened scared. one? Uh, Fernia shouldn't. I don't know why. I oh, you might have misclicked it then. Okay. I was just confused. All right. It's all good. Vita is up. Sebastian hasn't used guidance yet, correct? Haven't had an opportunity yet, no. I'm gonna cast guidance on Sebastian. I'm gonna step forward, cast guidance on Sebastian, and then step back around the corner over here by uh Cetra, opposite uh, of Stom. I believe you would cast that on me before we even open the doors in here, so I already have it. Yeah, uh, at last. Guidance, I did, yes. Yeah, sanctuary, no. Guidance says, Oh, you're casting left Sanctuary? Left I'm casting Sanctuary on Sebastian. Okay. Oh. And then stepping around the corner. Uh, you'd only have action enough to move up to Sebastian and cast that spell. 
he would be able to move. That is correct. Yeah, because yeah, it's a range touch. Yeah, my bad. Oh, it's all oh, good. good. People gotta have to run past us to get in there anyway. Oh, I'm done. Thank you. Stop is out. Okay. Stop is going to move. How far depends on what he can see as he moves. Um, one. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm frightened in here and frightened in there, so. Well, you rolled frightened against the eye. You didn't roll frightened against her, correct? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's. I'm no better out here than I would be in here anyway, so. So, two actions to move to here. And then I guess I'll just attack once. So, stone knuckle dusters. Let's make them spiked. Why not? Hmm. Is what it is. Yeah, those chains are uh, acting like chain mail. Oh, okay, that helps. Nice. You are not unnerved. Bastion is up. So, uh, I get to escape. You do indeed. Uh, unarmed attack is you my highest bonus it. with guidance. And... Nope. And I'm not going to yeah. waste the hero point just yet. Okay. Hey. Nice. End of turn. Oh, actually, no, I can try that three times, can I? I'm basically go looking for a nat 20 on the uh, yeah. unarmed attack modifier here. So good. Such a. Um, I can't exactly see her, so let's see. That gift's from the new movie, isn't it? Probably. It's remarkably few. I didn't want... <laughs> Here's the challenge. Find a centibate clip that shows the chains, but isn't completely full of gore. <laughs> okay, I am gonna give you a second chance to get out of your chains. Okay. Uh, immediately use your reaction to attempt to escape. Uh, now, I had used um, guidance for the uh, the first round attempts. Uh, can I use the aid another bonus? They're both the uh, circumstance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, what is that? Plus two now? Plus one? Uh, it's just plus one. Plus one? I only succeeded, didn't crit succeed. Actually, mm -hmm. hold on. Let me double check that. I know the numbers changed recently, I just don't remember how. Uh, critical is a plus two. If you're okay. master, it goes to three, and then legendary is plus four. Ah, so success was just a plus one. So they did change, two. but we're not at that point. Mm. Not a nat 20, though. Sorry. Worth a try. So that's one action, Such a You got two more. Mm.
Honestly, don't worry too much about getting Sebastian out of here. I'm immobilized, but it's not hurting me at this point, really. Yeah, he has Sanctuary. He can't technically be targeted. Gotcha. Um... I don't want to. Okay. Um, I guess I'll try to go in the room. Is it going to cost extra movement to squeeze by people? No. Nope. Oh, no. Damn it. Ignore that. We, we, we all pretend we did not see that. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get behind Stom, but it's not letting me. Move, move past Stom. Move left move. Down. There you go. Thank you. That's just yeah. Those walls are annoying sometimes. Okay, so now I can't at least see her. Still same turn, so no AOs. Yay! But now that you see her. When you end your turn, we'll need a DC 21 will save. You gaze upon this woman enwrapped in chains and you just think, oh god, that must pinch. <laughs> well, actually, if you fall prey to this, you will see the face of a departed loved one in place of her face. What if she doesn't have a departed loved one? <laughs> That's a good one. You have a bolt of skulls. Yes. Yeah, like I said, I collect skulls, so. If I just see skulls, I'm just gonna have hard eyes the entire time. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna use, um, I guess, a finger bone from my bag and throw it at her. So you're giving her the finger. Okay. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take an entire fucking skeleton hand out of my bag. No one questioned this. Okay. <laughs> Is the skeleton hand going to be a bludgeoning? Yes. Okay. Straight punch. It's... Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna be to slap her ass, but <laughs> just to do damage at the same time. <laughs> Here we go. That's gonna hit. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna be smacking her ass then. <laughs> Nice. Roll, roll some damage. <laughs> Nine points of ass smacking. Oh. That's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that is it. Move and a two action. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what was that one again? A will save? Yeah, we need a DC 21 will save, if you please. Oh. Nice. She'll get, she'll give a look at her. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. The chain. Yeah. Spread it around. Uh, one chain is going after yeah. your Noel friend. Uh, very happy that was not a crit, because very bad stuff happens on a crit. Uh, the second chain is going after Mr. Stum. Oh wait, before that... If it matters, Mike, Sebastian is still on the table, he just needs a will save to attack him. Yeah. Uh, she's just trying to get everybody wrapped up in chains right now. Um, she's really passionate about her hobby and just wants to share it with others. Exactly. Hmm. 
It's like when you go to the Comic Con and you encounter that first time cosplayer who absolutely has to explain every little single piece of their costume when you didn't ask. <laughs> All right. But they tried, so you have to give them your full attention. Uh, no, she does not do an extra action to grab. She's just going to slice, or try to hit. Gonna miss, and then she's gonna focus gaze. Uh, she's gonna focus gaze at Stom. Somebody else might need to double check me on this, especially because of it being a creature based thing. But I think to continue the grab on Sebastian, an action has to be spent. I think you're right. You're right. It Just does. saying that. I only recently found that out because I have a monk in my campaign that I had to basically slap him with that as a nerf. Because <laughs> oh, I thought he just held everything. Up. I thought they had something uh, special going on, because this wasn't her chains, it was like the room's chains. Yeah. Um, oh, I was under the impression it was her chains. So if it, I'm wrong, let is, me know. It is her chains. Okay. And and she will have to do that. Okay. Um, it'll be athletics. <laughs> to be fair, this is Sebastian we're talking about. Okay. Well, actually, uh, good news for you. Um, it, you automatically sustain it. You don't have to spend... You're just spending the action to sustain it. You don't have to keep the check going. Okay, good. <laughs> good for you, bad for Sebastian. It was going to succeed no matter what. Yeah, for really sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I think I have my, my turn planned out here. So first action is going to be to command Fernia. Uh, so she gets two actions now. Um, Rusty's second action is going to be to aid Fernia with an attack. Um, so that's an action and a reaction gone. Mm -hmm. And then over to Fernia, she'll use her support benefit. So if Rusty hits, a uh, creature gets frightened one. And then Fernia is going to go for a bite. Um, okay. Rusty's going to go for a. Uh, attack to try to distract the creature at, for the aid check. Um, it's a lot of frightening going on around here. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to add it's two for pack. Add. Okay. Uh, so that passes on the aid check. Mm. So, should be a plus one for Fernia. Alright. This one. Okay. Uh, Alright, strike. Nice. Alright, so is that a frightened one? Uh, no, that's only if Rusty hits. This is just, okay. this one's just for damage. Alright. So now, for third action, we go back to Rusty for his twin takedown. I swear all of this is mechanically illegal. It, it, it was just a lot. <laughs> it's fine. This is Pathfinder 2. This wow. is what you do. It's pet classes in a nutshell. Yeah. You get the same thing with Summoner. That, that damn Frightened caused both of those to miss. Mm. Well, hopefully we'll be able to take care of some of that. Because you don't want to see, she's got a picture of a, uh, a dog or a hyena. Actually, face. if I remember my character's backstory right, it'd probably be his grandmother. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right, I think that's everything. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Guess you don't really have to worry about the... Oh, wait. Frightened too. It doesn't say that you're immune to it. So oh boy! I think you continue to roll, and you just stay at frightened two instead of becoming frightened one at the end of this turn. Yeah, sounds about right. 
Okay, and Frightened's one of those weird ones that unless it says plus one, then it just stays at whatever the actual value it specified is. Yeah. And is Fernie immune to fear? Is that why she's Uh, immune? no. Okay. Um, so I will roll. Okay. All right. She's not, she's it's not two scary. 21s in a row for her. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. All right, Vita is up. Can I attack the chain connected uh, to Sebastian? Sure. Nice. Please don't miss. That is a very <laughs> sensitive mage under these chains. <laughs> oh, whoops. My bad. Wrong button. Should I target Sebastian? Uh, no, you can target the object. I'm just looking up um, damaging objects right now. I'd be very surprised if these had a, a break DC on them. Probably more along the lines of just a nade. Iron or steel would have a hardness of 9 with 36 hit points. Examples being an iron or steel armor or stove or an anvil. Oh boy. There's Is there hardness in this edition? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Shields have it. You'll find your, your materials and stuff under uh, the materials section. I was going to say my bone cage had a hardness 5. It's just a lot more simplified. Okay, yeah. So it has hit points, 20. Broken threshold is 10. Hardness, 5. Okay. Um, so how do we find the AC of this thing? I don't think objects have AC anymore. Can't even break the hardness. Well, after failed attempt, I'm gonna just uh use a T turn heal on Sebastian. Not two turn, but uh two action. That will definitely be appreciated. Cause that bitch slapped me upside the head and something fierce. <laughs> and uh, that's my turn. So hard to my accent change. <laughs> Channeling my Tuesday group, my uh, Friday group. Hit it. All I can say is she didn't respond to the fact I slapped her ass and winked at her and said. <laughs> All right. Uh... Vita, you are within 30 feet, so we do need to get a uh, DC 21 will save, please. Oh yeah, no I save. Is he immune to it now or no? Just, um, it doesn't say you're immune to it, unfortunately. Oh, that's hard. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw a... Ocean's Bomb onto Rusty. Really appreciate it. Wow, okay. Oh, all three hit points. Well, those three How hit points like could be the dice. difference between me and death, so. And then I'll attack. Classic. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that's that's all I got. All right, Sebastian, you are restrained still. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to do something I forgot that I could do, and that is I'm actually going to be super cheerful and, ha and cheer my friends up. There's no cause for alarm. We'll be fine. That's better. Anyone, anyone who's frightened is not. Cool. Nice. Oh, I forgot I had that. Wait. Is that a manipulate action? It is not. Nope. Auditory and... I, I, yeah, no. yeah I, che I check for that verse be thinking of the restraint as well, Mike. Okay. Good. Cool. Uh, so that's that. So now I'm just going to try to break my chains. Give me freedom. <laughs> that, what? You got to finish that with what? more death. Yeah, no, I hit the wrong button. That's what I did. Give there. this man a sandwich. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. That's what I did there. Let's try that instead. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. And that's not going to work. So I go back to my chains. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, that's good, though. All right. Uh, Sebastian, you do have to, again, roll the unnerving gaze, please. Wow. You guys are doing this great. Cetra is up. She's sad that her didn't become a chain lady because she mm -hmm. has heart. Her. <laughs> um. Uh, hmm, up to six creatures. Well, there's enough of us here. All right. Um, using this on my allies. Woo! You are quakened. Quakened. Yep. You get an extra action. Quickened. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just picking it. Yeah. Anything for your last and, action? Uh... Eh. Tried to intimidate it, if nothing else. You're upset. Your your initiation didn't work. Intimidate. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to use a Firefox and be like, pay attention to me, damn it. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> Alright, nice try. We do need a will see. Your compliments missed the target. Mm -hmm. Clearly. <clears throat> you are not affected. Nope, I'm too saddened by, you know, not reacting to my dances. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Now let's go with some random stuff. Bernie, you won. Uh,. Rusty 2, Stomp 3, Bastion 4, Cetra 5. <clears throat> Dom is the lucky... Lucky one. At least I can be useful in this combat. <laughs> Cetra, unfortunately, you're seeing one of her other abilities. That's a very particular zoom in. <laughs> it was also extremely delayed. <laughs> that was delayed, but well worth it. 
<laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, so this chain impales you. Uh, it has the effect of um, giving you persistent oh, bleed geez. damage. And you become grabbed. And you take uh, this much damage. Uh, yeah, that's a good my health, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you oh, no, went I... down with a critical hit? Say again. I can't see her. Did she go down? Nope. Oh, no, she's not down. <laughs> not yet. She's near down, but uh, yeah, the, the chain just came up snaked around and went straight through her shoulder and attached to the uh, the ground behind her. I think the worst part of that is the fact that the persistent damage is doubled too. Yep. Yeah. And it's believe yeah, it's, it's gonna be a nasty one. Um, she's gonna use the last action to retain Sebastian's oh. chains. Rusty's up. Alrighty. Um, I think I'm basically just going to do a repeat of last turn, but without the frightened and hopefully having things work this time. Okay, good luck. So, um, first action for Fernia is to, or first action is to Fernia for her two things. So, support benefit and a strike with aid from Rusty. Alright, so aid from Rusty first. So Fernia gets her aid. Darn. Okay. Um, and then back over to Rusty for his twin takedown. Oh, come on. Got her all above an eight. There we go. That's how you do it. All right, so. If it helps with that quicken, you could have Fernia move up to help uh, stall with flanking. Considered that as well, yeah. Um, she is also now frightened one because of Fernia's support benefit. Um, so that. Did Stom's spell not affect her? Not Stom, Sebastian. Bell. The uh, command thing. It, yeah, his command to get rid of Frighten. That was a reassurance to my party members and friends that everything will be okay, and it's a one-time thing. Alright, um, I think aid, command, strike. Okay, I think that's everything from me. Okay. We just need the... Um, um... Yeah, I will have Fernia step up as well, using the quickened. Okay. Fernia and Rusty both need the will save. Right. Oop. Well done. The hyena laughs at the face of death. <laughs> or the face of his grandmother. Vida. I'm still unaware of what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna run in here past my allies. Am I allowed to stand on this grate? Uh, no, but you can come over here, or you can come up here. Um, I'm gonna step back here by Cetra to this opening. Can I do that? Yeah. What? Back of up. Yes. Um. Insane. I love rolling crits. <sighs> <laughs> Wait a second. Hold up. Oh, you got something. Right. Right. All right. Yeah. Save you, Claire. Uh, was that me? Oh. Yeah, but you might be uh, you might be helped out by your. I was to say that's a that attack would be considered a manipulate action, would it not, or no? Am I wrong on that one? 
Can tax manipulate? I don't know. I don't Here's think a so. question. Well, reactive strikes uh, so are. Uh, they don't seem to have any traits on them. Is that a react? Okay. Never mind. The then. chain is tech. The is the chain a weapon? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. it's time to uh, turn and hit the chain and see if I could uh, break it off him. Yeah, just to confirm, there's nothing for me then. Okay. Um, so that what? means that yeah, you are grabbed here. And until you do an escape the DC 25. Escape is an action, correct? Yep. Yeah. Until you escape that, you are getting persistent bleed damage. Um, okay. Does he not get his chance to do that disarming block? Oh, I didn't see it. Shield block melee strength. Yeah. I can use a reaction to uh, raise shield and use a free action to disarm. Okay. Yeah. Um, we disarm is an athletics check. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead against his, her. Reflex DC. Uh, her reflex now that she's frightened is 13, so that's a 23 DC. We're hoping for a crit. One second, my quick menu will work. Yeah, you need a crit I would prefer otherwise. a quit too. Actually, even no. a success would make her not crit him, it would still hit. But 18 is uh, probably not going to do. No. You might want to consider hero pointing. Uh, yeah. Still a, a long shot, but... Yeah, you need a 23. I don't... How do you, uh... Just right-click on... I'm, never mind. I... You just right-click on the roll you, you just did. <laughs> Unfortunate. That's a oh. Why it's all about the dice sometimes. First all right, uh, I'm gonna use an action to try to escape. Okay. Is that also athletics? Uh, it's acrobatics or athletics. Or Which unarmed is attack is generally gonna be your your go-to. Yeah, unarmed attack is good. I just made it something you can click on in the chat if you'd like. Well, it was a good try. Well, still got one action left here. Oh. Did the, the haste give you a free movement? Oh, yeah. I forgot about the haste. Hmm. Gave all the allies a free move. <laughs> Let me use a uh, one turn <laughs> font on Cetra. Doesn't it have to be a move action? Yeah, so like that one, it, that spell specifically is a mover step, or strider step. Yeah, so like if his first action was that free movement, he would have all three actions to him by the time he got to her. Uh, right. okay. That sounds good. Alright. Uh, when I can no. heal on who? Cetra. Okay. Uh... 
Nice. You do also have uh, single action battle medicine as an option. I'm out of I'm out of actions though. That would be right, three. Be playing for like next turn or something. Oh yeah. Stom. Okay, Stom is going to battle medicine, etc. <laughs> um, that fair enough. <laughs> Twenty-five. Does that uh, put you to full health? I have no idea. Let's see. Yeah. Right, <laughs> your bleed damage is gone. Nice. It, it is. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah. negation action for uh, bleeding is to max out your hit point. Oh. I am well going done. to battle medicine beta. Not as good, but they'll at least get you through another turn, hopefully. Many thanks. And then I'll attack once. She's being a little weird. There we go. Ooh, nice. Hit. Ooh, hit. Ooh, I'll take a max damage. It will take one, too. And... That is everything. On the negative beta. You just rocked a blue lady in chains. Stom will do it again. <laughs> okay. Uh, did Stom give us his... Yep. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Uh, Sebastian will start off by looking at this thing in its eyes and trying to figure out what the hell is this thing? We okay. call knowledge. Hey. We'll need a religion. Religion, uh, may I use academia instead? Yeah. Excellent. Blind roll, obviously. You've heard tell of a particular type of being known as a Velstrak. And among these Velstraks uh, are evangelists. Um, they roam the farthest reaches of the plains to spread the word of their kind's abhorrent beliefs and perfection through pain. Uh, of course, side note, Velstrax are Pathfinder's name that used to be um, the... Titans? To, yeah, the Titans. Okay, um... You know that these things do have some uh, special immunities and weaknesses. Uh, you are privy to one of these. What would you like to know? I would like to know how best to kill it, i.e. its weaknesses. Uh, holy or silver seems to be its weaknesses. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's one action. We recall knowledge. Uh, next action will be to do something cool, whatever it is. Um, it's already frightened, so there's no need to intimidate it. Um, oh, is it still frightened? It would have reduced at the end of its turn, but wasn't that applied this round? Yes. It's just been that long of a round. Yeah. These rounds, these rounds just take forever. This is still just the yeah. third round. <laughs> okay. I have foot um, chains uh, together. He, he will look up at her and uh, comment that his, her chains look like they just came right out of Home Depot. Rude. Versus uh, Will DC. 
Uh, she's very affected by this. She gets her chains from Lowe's. <laughs> Uh, but it's only Gotta get him from Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she will only uh, suffer a. Oh, you will only get a success, not a. Okay. Great success. All right. Just throw that effect down there, and you'll be good. Uh, that'll stay on her until she takes an action to to rebut my claim. Okay. Uh, and final action will be to try to punch my way out of these fucking chains. <laughs> Oh, oh! Hey, that does it. My words will set me free. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is actually like really just perfect proof of this is why you don't buy them from Home Depot because they're you just break free of them. <laughs> hey, well, I must say that you did do a cool thing as uh, as you announced. Well done, etc. Oh, but you do need to uh, to make that. I do need me to slip, but I also do have that free movement. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So, yeah, go for it. I'm also Are you just get leaving? the fuck out <laughs> for a second. <laughs> get a little get a little breather here. Uh 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, I'm still very what much in I'm still in range of her. <laughs> so I'm still rolling it. <laughs> okay. I just want to get just I don't just want to get more break, chained. I just want to break line of sight. <laughs> Yeah, so whatever that thing does. Do I have any hero points left? I've lost track at this point. I had two. I don't remember. I used one definitely. Uh, you can have one more. Oh, cool. Thank you. If you'd like to use it now, that's fine. If later, that's fine too. Hey, uh, hey. You are not afraid. Nice. I celebrate my averageness. Okay. <laughs> that's a <true> <laughs> What a sentence. <laughs> your participation trophy so I need to roll what again to get out of these chains 25 just all you need to do is follow Sebastian's lead roll what he rolled <laughs> what, you're, what you would want to be most, most likely rolling for yourself is going to be an unarmed attack you, you have the choice of acrobatics, athletics, or unarmed attack. Unarmed attack is almost always going to be your highest thing as a caster. But I'm not a caster. Yes, you are. You are a witch. You are a caster. <laughs> Apparently I'm not. I just collect skulls. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I only have a plus seven to that, though. That's normal. No, plus seven acrobatics, so either one, I guess. Mm, whatever, I'll try. Nope. Yeah. That unfortunately does suffer from multiple attack penalty, but uh, you can do anything else as long as it doesn't involve a manipulate. Like mental stuff. I try acrobatics again. <laughs> try. There's always nope. a five percent chance. Okay, so you're you're basically looking for a net twenty. Alright, so Wait, rolling that happen. though is it's a critical failure to escape. So mm -hmm. because of that, you don't get free and you can't attempt an escape again until your next turn. Okay. But you were out of actions anyway, so it's fine. Yep. <laughs> uh, she looks a little better after this turn. Well, that's rude. And she's gonna try to take a uh, an action to make a retort. Okay, I'm just going to pull it back up on the screen so we can see the specifics about it. The retort needs to be use a linguistic charisma skill action. Single action, 
basically make a charisma check of some kind. Yeah, she is going to... Tell you how she's going to torture you. And get back in here. And you'll never learn the safe word. <laughs> uh, bit. <laughs> I'm actually more... I almost more respect the fact that there apparently is one. <laughs> uh, but I don't think that does that, does it? No, there, there's no actual DC to this. You just have to expend the action. In a okay, way. she's expending the action. Um, it's no longer then, bonded. Then she's turning over to, uh, to your ranger here. Loving those crits. <laughs> Not too bad. Let's get a little bit of this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you got me with that one. <laughs> Bomb is missed. All right, Rusty. All righty. Um... First action, I'm going to attempt to break free. Um, the great news, and I was literally just thinking about this feat earlier today, I'm like, do I really want to keep this? Do I, what do I do with this? Um, nice. It comes up so, surprisingly often. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> this is one of the few times, or like few uh, feats that does, I feel like, when it comes to skill feats and general feats. Um, Alright, so. Alright, so that's just for subsequent, but still. DC 25. Alright, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Honestly, you probably would have been just better off attacking. <laughs> I can't. I'm restrained. You're restrained. Well, no, he's just so... grabbed. He oh. Restrained. So you can take uh, that back if you want to. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Um. Because like trying right. to hit a DC 25 with a minus five MAP is like. <laughs> well, it, it would only be minus four technically. Still. <laughs> At this one, but yes, yeah, I know. Um, alright, so that, no, I'm going to uh, command Fernia and give her two actions. I'm gonna, instead of the bonus or uh, benefit thing, she's going to attack twice. Unfortunate. Oh, she, she did get rid of that, frightened that last time. Alright, so Fernia was wasted. <laughs> um, follow up with. Yeah, go for an, uh twin takedown from Rusty. I have to do a DC 5 flat check to see if these work, though. That's true, yeah. Be, uh... So that's for the first attack. Succeed that one. That's for the second one. Okay, cool. There we go. Yes! There we go. Boom. Now we're talking. Ooh. Eat it! That's a good one. Alright. Um, so that was two actions. Do I attempt to escape? You 
will take continued bleed damage until you escape. Yeah, I'm already going to go down, though. So, Got it. even if I escaped. Uh, let's go for another strike. Let's just try to make this happen. There you go. I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Can I re-roll my first Felissa attack with uh, Hero Point? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, it's not going to change anything I would have done anyway, so... Mm-hmm. Alright, cool. Nice. Okay. Alright, that is my turn, then. She is shocked by the, uh, the blade work. Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Take it back. Why? Because that... Uh, you're right. Hold on. It's a re-roll. It's not a repeat of the action. Yeah, that first one still would have hit. Same with the second one. And I... Third one... Did not hit or did hit? I'm confused now. I've confused myself. Oh, Just no, continue no. moving. I'll I'll figure it out. I'll let you know if we need to okay. change anything. Yeah, we still need the uh, the DC twenty one will for both Kurnia oh, and yep. Rusty and Vita is up. Your buddy uh, Rusty is not looking too great. Yeah, risky dice. Mm -hmm. Three turn AOE. Nice. Oh no, Fernie is actually frightened. Alright, um, so first I have to take my damage. Uh, that's everyone. And I can go. Mm -hmm. That heal is everyone. I believe Sebastian's still in range. I, I was untouched. <laughs> I, was I, I do not require healing. Thank you. Yet on I don't know team. if uh, if the Smurf <laughs> gets healed or not. In, unless you have a feature that lets it hurt fiends in addition to undead, then no. It would be a class feat you'd have to yeah, select. She, she does not uh, gain healing from this. Yay. Does she gain damage? She does not gain damage. Well, yeah. bless you. Yeah. We'll save for being in the room. Uh, that's my turn. Yeah. So, um, if you are ending your turn in within 30 feet of her, you have a chance of getting frightened too. Which you are now. Okay, Stom is up. Okay. Is that pencil sharpener? <laughs> no. I was wondering that too. I, my bad. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm just curious. <laughs> Sorry, machine. Oh, okay. okay. All right, I will start off by using my once a day medic thing to ignore the immunity on Vita to attempt to heal him again. For 15. Um, you did take the eight from before, the bleed damage. I did it. I did it. So just I wanna My bad. Olive. Um yeah, So it'll only take four. Well though no, you take the eight and then you would heal fifteen, so you gain seven. And does that bring you to full? I'm not sure. Hold on. How do I take the eight? Do 
Do I drag it on? No, it's up a little bit but above the, the bleed damage. You can just hit damage. Oh, that reminds me. I never did my recovery check. I believe I still get that even if I went down. Oh, that's just rude. Thanks, game. <laughs> and, okay, I assume... Yeah, there we go. And then heal 15. So, not full. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to be able to heal you from your bleed damage. So I got to focus on Rusty. Oh no, I already did both my heals on Rusty. You would need to use a proper Soothe spell or something? Yeah. Quench or whatever the thing is. Okay, I have one more thing I can do. I'm going to use my healer's gloves on Rusty. So Rusty gains 11. So that's a manipulate trait, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. Go for it. Stom has plenty of HP. It went for it. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward's great and all until you get hit with a crit and then you're grabbed too. <laughs> Not just grabbed, but restrained on a crit. That's the that's the end all be all. And then I will punch. Classic. How do how uh Cetra, how long is this uh quickened thing last anyway? Mm. Just the end of the next turn, I believe. So it should be gone at this point. It should be gone at this point? Okay. Yeah. Hold on, let me read it. Until the end of your next turn, yeah. Oh, okay. So this would be the end of your turn this round since you've had it, so We'll save for Stom, and then Sebastian's up on deck. Stom does not care. Checking wording on something real quick. She has started to bleed blue blood. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. So, as a material component of this spell, he's using a silver coin. Needles are formed from a piece of metal and take on the material properties of that metal. Okay. Nice. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to attempt to first bond mod her. Actually, I'm uh, intimidating. Mean. Just in case it actually works. Okay, let's have it. It's unlikely. Uh, it's Will. Yeah. You need a 21, unfortunately. No worries. We'll try to dab her with some needles in the eye. Ooh, that's exactly what you need to hit. Well, actually one higher than what you need to hit. You, you should nice. thank me, Cetra. I'm literally turning her into Pinhead. I love it. Let's go. Ten silver neat piercing damage. And he's Make sure you do the right out. pattern on it. He's going to shout out, Heart of a Silver! Silver or holy? You know, holy that, silver uh, if you've got it. Takes more damage. Nice. So then that's well, I should try to silver my weapons at some point. And Cetra, if you ever manage to get out of that thing, uh, throwing projectiles around telekinetically, you probably find bits of silver laying around. 
Okay. Sebastian is Tell him let them get out. Oh, sorry, Mike. Yeah, that's my bad. So, okay. Pardon, too? Yep. Okay. Set your is it? You got her on the ropes. Or on the chains, I should say. <laughs> that just full on restraint, right? Uh, she's just grabbed. Oh, so you like you can like cast spells and stuff. Yeah, but to cast spells, you still need a flat check. Cast grabbed. Yep. Hmm. My folks will be just trying to get out, honestly, at this yeah, rate. Okay. You do need a DC 25 escape to get out, though. Uh, if you fail the flat check, flat check, do you still expend the uh, spell slot? Yeah. I believe so. Yep. Wait, why are all those things rolling? Um, I didn't realize it would do that. That was me. Oh. I was Take like, pity. I didn't Give those numbers to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. Wow. That is really close. Eh. Uh. If only one of your friends would have helped you. <laughs> Oh well, I help everyone. It's okay. <laughs> That's right. I'll just sit here all tied up. You do have one, one action remaining. Can't really do much else. Right, again, hope for a net twenty five percent chance. You could try to intimidate it. You could do anything that doesn't require manipulate. Actually, you're. Crap, not restrained, so you like you can do plenty of stuff. Okay. I'm Except fine. Escaping. Fine. escaping you can't do it normally. Alright. Uh normally she would be having her wounds heal a little bit, but for some reason they're not doing that any longer. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, Vida. You seem to have given her a lot of angst for some reason. Right. So the chains are going to whip around the uh, the cages here. Go after you. Can I uh, attempt a reaction and a disarm? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh! Ooh I thought I didn't have the target's grasp. Okay, that chain falls to the floor. Well done. Congratulations, Vita. You have just found the worst possible insult for a kaiju. <laughs> Taking its chains away. Yeah. You dechained her. Um, so I think you, you actually don't take that damage, right? I would assume not. Yeah, because it you just disarmed her. Yay. Yay. To be fair, it is just a single action for her to pick it up again, but that would give anyone AOs in the area. Or if nothing else wastes her action. Well, no, she's got plenty of chains around here. She can just drop it. That's use fair. anything that's in the room. I think the biggest part of that was just so that he didn't take the damage. Uh, what was? 
goes to D6. And then it's going to go against Fern. Uh, but not quite a crit. That's a good thing. And she's going to look disapprovingly over at you, Stom. She doesn't like what you're doing. So, unnerving gaze is... or no. Is it a pain No. Focus gaze, that's what it is. Alright. So Stom DC twenty one will save. And that'll be it for a resty. I mean that'll be it for her rest of set. <laughs> Hopefully it's not it for Rusty. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Um, A lot of conditions there. part is because I'm grabbed I can't even get up yep that's a problem oh well that's fine okay so uh, first action will be to command Fernia and have her attack twice alright nice Wow, that damage. Okay. Oh, so close. Hey, near death is near death. Alright, and then Rusty will spend the next two actions, I think it is. Actually, it's not um, getting the flanked attack. So wait, sorry, what? I see. I'm not seeing the flank on there. You are correct. I don't see it either. It's still going against the 24 AC. Alright, so that's a hit. Woohoo! Alright. Uh, yeah, so I think this is going to take two actions. Um, I still have a holy water. <laughs> so I'm going to draw that and then that's toss it. as well. Oh, yeah, kind of it is, thought. isn't it? She's into that. Alright. You know what? Yeah? I'm gonna go ahead, still do it. I'm gonna okay. but I'm gonna I'm curious of what's gonna happen regardless. Oh, so sweet. Still up. One she's, HP in a dream. She's she's never smiled so so big. <laughs> All right. Um. So, gonna go for the strike. Um. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. Nice. There's no. All right, you gotta that describe that one. Oh god. Well, hold on. We gotta see the damage to see if I actually kill her first. <laughs> oh, there's no way you can't. Because that also is holy. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright, so. Commands Fernia to go for the distracting bite while he goes to pull out his uh, holy water flask. She still sees him, goes for a hit, chains one of his shoulders, but not the correct one. And then just, he looks up and smiles at her and then just tosses it right at her feet and shatters it. 
badass. All right, cool. Well, that's oh. that's the session, folks. Well done. Oh. <laughs> you guys, one well, HP in a dream. Yeah. yeah it's like a hard fight. This was a this was a, a, a creature level six, so this was a pretty rough encounter for you guys. It was fun. Yeah. Why is Sebastian in the other look, room? Because I ran you guys like a smart person. <laughs> also, are the chains off of me now? No. Yes. I'm well. Dead. <laughs> She she's no longer holding the chains uh, there, so you can just well actually no no I take that back until you <laughs> roll that you everybody still has persistent damage until you're you escape yep so let's run through Great. that real quick if we have time Rusty do you have anything left or wait that, that's all my actions so I'm done <laughs> okay so do you take Eight. that. Of course, I take the damage. damage. Okay, so I think that's good. But I still get. I'm still going to go for the. Okay, be great. Just <laughs> <laughs> can you post escape, please? Okay. Um, yeah. So escape is DC twenty five. Um, dear God. <laughs> Bye, right, you, could, you could you could I'm delay done. until after like Stom or Sebastian etc. Maybe they can help you with it. Stom is still free. And really DC twenty five. What? DC twenty five. Either a uh, unarmed strike or um, athletics or acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics. What the? <laughs> <laughs> can I see the unarmed? I'm on. Can I see the unarmed strike, uh, Sebastian? Huh? This, it this should just you. be one of your this actions. This is you, this is you running it. <laughs> do, it's, do, it's, do I roll it? Do I roll it base or do I roll it uh, with the plus? How do I roll it? The first attempt is at base. The second attempt is map four. Third attempt is map eight. Oh, all right. There you go. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. All right, you ripped those chains off. You were unshackled. I'm more enjoying the fact that that technically was an attack right. against uh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a step forward or not. I I, I would perhaps instead recommend uh, a heal upon yourself. Oh wait, no, the bleeding stops with the chains off. Yeah. I'm at I'm at full health and and, oh. and the chains are off now. Yeah, you, uh, you only bleed until the chains get off of you. Gotcha. I'm gonna just take a step forward and I'm a signal to the team that I'm gonna stabilize him next turn. Okay. Uh, Stop. That's my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Ocean's Bomb on Rusty. Is this the first time Rusty has gone down on this fight? Uh, this is second. Second, so you're at dying or at wounded one. Wounded two now. Wounded two. Okay. Yep, I've been keeping track of that. Um, okay. So I'm actually technically there. Oh no! Wait, I can't do that on Rusty. I already did that. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know if he picked up. I was trying to say I'm gonna stabilize him. I'll pick him up next turn. If, if I, I recommend to... doing it minute first aid. For, actually, no, it won't make a difference because the change is still on me. It's still. If, I don't know why I moved. Uh, are you the I... only one bleeding other than Storm? Yes. Uh, okay. Probably. All right, Storm's just going to start uh, treating your wounds like normal. Treat your wounds. So I'm still taking constant persistent damage, even though I'm dead. Well, that, that would We're down. While I'm treating you, that would stop for the time being, I believe. Really? I'm not confident in that, honestly. Yeah, if, I thought it was... Because there, there's no administer hold... first aid, which stops bleeding. Hold on, hold on. Well, this might be overcomplicated. If the chains are no longer a thing because he's not there, then the chains are what's causing the bleed. What's making him bleed? 
Well, this is for us. We got to stitch flesh. <laughs> Re- Rusty is still in the chains. Vita got out of the chains. Oh, there's an administer first aid. Ooh, okay. Um... Yeah. Uh, if it matters, uh, Vita, you do still have a bit of medicine usage available for uh, Rusty if you want to use that. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I ran out of action. I have a little get up ready, but yeah, I ran out of action. Yeah, and Vita, you can't be standing there in the um, the cage. So you have to be up near uh, up here or over to the You could go prone and crawl under it, technically. Her. Yeah, you could do that too. Up here? Yeah. I don't have anything else. Um, Does Rusty have any potions? That I can see on your bandit. Uh, I do have one potion, yes. Okay, he's going to grab that and feed it to you. And that's two actions. He's up. That will hopefully allow you to possibly get out of these chains before you bleed to death. <laughs> and then, it, is it one or two actions to aid? One, two. I thought. Did they no, it's well, one. It's, it's, no, it's one, one to action aid, to aid. Go ahead. And two actions if you want to ready an action to um, make a reaction to do something. All right, I'm going to. It's saying aid is just a reaction. Yeah, so you spend one action to set up your aid, and then you have a reaction okay, when yeah, it I'll, comes time. Yeah, I'll do that to help him get out of these chains. So I'll aid that. Okay. And you can uh, roll whatever you wanted to do for that. Yeah, I can roll that now. Athletics, of course. Okay. That will give them a plus one. And Sebastian's in. Looks like he's feeding you a potion as well. Three is the number of the day. Apparently. <laughs> and Cetra, you are still in chains as well. Yeah. She did a number on you guys. Can still cast magic from the chains if you pass it. Yeah, though. you can. Uh, that is not enough for you to get out of the chains. I have no spells to cast to get me out of this. So I don't know really why I'd cast any spells in my perspective on this one. Can't you use your telekinesis to shoot them off? No, I don't think so. Because I'd hurt myself in the process. God gave you two legs so you could lose one of them. Okay, is yeah. there a yeah? Is there a uh, negative five for that? If I get negative five, I'm not even getting negative, twenty. Negative four, but negative four. It's okay. uh, agile. Yeah, you struggle against the chains. Uh, you're not seeming to make any any headway. All you hear is such a grumbling. Could someone please fucking help me? Care. <laughs> In a moment, I'm trying to keep Rusty from bleeding to death. Okay. Uh, so I guess, Cetra, you're not taking any persistent damage, is that right? Because you got healed the nope. fool, that's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot at the end of my turn to do the... I'm just going to do that now. All right, stuff's good. Nice. All right, Rusty. You All got, right. You got a lot of help here, and you almost drowned in healing potions. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> give me a sec to breathe, damn it. All right, so I got aided once, correct? So I have yep. aid? Okay. That's right. 
Uh, let me toggle aid. That was just a plus one. Like it was just a regular success. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, then I'm going to do an escape. There we go. All right. You know what a critical failure does? Can I... Um, we, we've gone for over two hours. Do I get another hero point? Yes, you do. Okay. Can't wait for a second critical fail. I'm going to just... <laughs> dude, dude, stop! <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, you can't make another check with a critical fail. This turn. You, you are know what? in this room. <laughs> well, there's no way you'll roll a six on this D6. Hopefully somebody has some more healing potions. Uh, also, I'm probably going to have to head out here in a few minutes. So Understood. Yeah, if anybody else has to go. I understand. We're, don't worry, we're just watching Rusty die we're, we're in slow trying, motion. We're, we're trying not to see Rusty melt. Uh, I, I've got an idea. If you all just wait just a moment. Um, you you gotta hit next hold. turn for me to do my stuff. Oh, don't worry, guys. It's Yeah, you forgot. It's it's doubled because critical. Oh, right. Yeah. So can this is great cool. not be walked over? It, if everyone can... wouldn't mind delaying... Sebastian has an idea. All right. All right. I'm going to delay and aid Sebastian. Well, hopefully it's a good one because this is our last chance. <laughs> Wounded three. Dying three. That's has Gray sent him up? I, I mean, in the end, I can't be too upset. Like, it, it, it was mutual destruction. It was. But <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Two actions to cast Grease on them, and I don't know where it went, but I had two potions of healing in my hand that I pulled out. I only used one of them, Dang. so that should be here somewhere. There it is. Oh, that's just a... That's a D8. There, here's uh, seven hit points. Oh, you know what? Can I... Have Fernia go over and try to attack the chains. Yeah. Um. Eh. Okay, so you're you're greased, which is a plus two circumstance bonus, which will stack with aid because aids are status, I believe. Uh, right, as so, is guidance. Oh wait. Ugh. And your seven hit points. Fernia could only move. Oh wait, no, I could. Okay, sorry. I can have spend one of my extra actions to command her, so she could move over and then do it. Okay. Um. So you come over and just bite the chains, try to yep. rip them free. Yep, right. absolutely. Uh, is she still frightened? Um, now that the thing is gone? <laughs> it would at least go down by one. I know that much yeah, for sure, because it's been at least one the turn. The, the okay. previous round, it should have removed by one for everyone. I don't think anyone yeah. did it. Okay. Apparently, Rusty's meant to die. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay. I don't like this fate. <laughs> I, think, I think you guys can do it. What are you going to do, Stom? All right, Stom is going to pull out his crowbar and attempt to force open the chains. Okay. Crowbar gives you what? Uh, it just makes it so there's no penalty. Okay. Normally, if you try to force something open with your bare hands, there's a minus two penalty. Got it, got it, got it. That might not be enough. I think it's against the... I'm actually not sure what the DC is. It's the DC of the level of the item. I'm assuming even these chains are just yeah. level zero items. I mean, they are from Home Depot. Hmm. Uh, between the grease and the bar, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to say you get him free of the chains. Yay! Hallelujah. 
That was too did, close. <laughs> did you did you take those seven hit points from the healing potion just now? Oh, just now? No, oh, I yeah, did not. On on Sebastian's turn. Okay. No, I did not. Okay. It is a good thing we got it because if he took even one more point of damage, he was gonna die. Die. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That was that was an epic closer. Well done. <laughs> That was fun. Uh, I'm not out <laughs> yet, Mike. Mike, I'm still in the chain. <laughs> well, between between the rest of you're not taking we any damage. We don't care about you. Yeah. You weren't <laughs> no. taking any damage, so uh, they can they can uh, use some of the the bar. And now that the bar is greasy, uh, <laughs> kind of get you out of there as well. Okay, good. Do we I'm really out free. need Yay. to? I mean, let's let's think about this for a second. <laughs> He's going to uh, tell Kinesis if he says that and slap him with the skeleton hand. Excuse me? Yeah. Well, um, actually, you have to roll a flat check. <laughs> 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 All right, on that night. You guys have a great week. For those joining us on stream, thank you for putting up with us, and we will hopefully see you next time. Bye.